All right, the reason why you clicked on this video is because you're probably having a situation with your wife and, and you don't know what to do and she's driving you crazy or you're driving her crazy. But let's talk. I, I wanna share with you what you could do to be different so you could work through this. Let's, I mean, just watch. Watch this video. You'll see what it is that you need to change. Okay, I'm talking to the men right now, and sometimes your wife is going to drive you crazy. What do you do when your wife is driving you crazy? Okay, so I'm reaching out to all my friends out there in the world that you got this, you got this situation where your wife, uh, it's finally reached a point, she's driving you crazy, and you don't know what to do. All right, so let me, let me just share with you what has made a difference for me in understanding my wife, been married now for 28 years, and over 28 years, there's been a lot of situations happening. A lot of experiences, a lot of struggles, a lot of difficulties. This is what I've learned about women. Here's something I've learned about women. And men, I'm sure you would agree with this, that women are different, and they think differently, and they process differently, and they are not the same as we are, and we need to be very, 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 very clear that we don't assume that they understand what we understand. Now, the reason why there's men and women is because we're to help each other in those areas that we don't see things. So we can play a very big role in helping them with whatever their struggle is or whatever's happening in this situation. But number one, we as a man, we do not back down. What happens is, sometimes as a man, we think, well, the only way we're going to be able to solve this is if I back down and let her be the way she's being, and I just need to back down. I don't back down, but I do change my approach. Instead of trying to be, you know, the man and I'm going to get my point across, no, what I need to do is I need to actually change the way I'm listening. Because if we're not communicating, there's something going on and she's driving me nuts, I need to listen a little bit better. So I, I don't back down. A man who backs down actually scares his wife. Once you start to back down, your wife will feel you become weak. And that will actually cause her to intensify because you're backing down. A wife wants to know that her husband can face life and life will not beat him up. And... <laughs> Some of the things that happen is sometimes she is the one that you're facing. And if she sees you back down to her, then she knows anything can smash you because she feels struggle and weakness and, you know, all the deficiencies about her life. And so when she sees that she can cause you to back down, it scares her. So we as men, we do not back down and we do not raise our voice. So we don't back down and we don't raise our voice. We don't go those directions. We stay neutral. The best thing we can do as men is to stay neutral. And the best way for us to be able to solve what's going on is to stay neutral. So if you get triggered and you, you go to loudness because you, you think you need to yell or yell back or be loud like that, that's not going to work. Contention doesn't solve a problem. And also backing down doesn't solve the problem either. So you get to practice being neutral. You get to practice being neutral. And you will most likely feel intensity inside of your body and inside your voice. But it doesn't give you the right to say it. Just because you feel it doesn't mean it should come out of you. We as men, we get to be the leaders in our relationships. We get to be the leader, not the controller. Two different ways. Controller wants to control other people to control the environment, a leader helps bring out the best in everyone. So you are a leader in your marriage, you're a leader in the family, and you find this neutral place. And why you can find this neutral place is because you exercise every day, you eat vegetables every day, and through exercise and good eating, it helps purge a lot of those negative feelings you have inside. 
and really great intense exercise purges all that negativity inside of your body. That way you can stay neutral and you're going to work through the problem. So you got listening, you got be neutral. You're not going to go loud. You're not going to back down. So you got neutral, you got listening, and then you get out a pad of paper and you start to write down what's happening. What's the problem? What's the challenge? Who are we talking about? What do we need to do to solve this? And you're just brainstorming. Remember, remember that a woman talks her thoughts. That's all she's doing is when she's expressing herself, that's how she sorts things out. She sorts them out through having a conversation. We as guys, we go inward to solve our problem and women go verbal to solve their problem. So as she's expressing all of the things that are going on in her life, don't jump in there and fix stuff. It's, it's a way for you to listen to her. And she'll ask you things like, well, what am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to say? Okay, don't, don't bite those hooks. Don't get caught up in that. You don't answer those questions. What you do say is you go, oh, wow, yeah, what would you do? And then she'll just carry on with the conversation. So during the conversation, you're not solving problems. You're engaging in the conversation. And when she says, what should we do? And you go, "Ah, that's a great idea. We should figure this out. She needs to talk it out to sort it out. And women are brilliant. They're brilliant at solving problems. They just want a sounding board. They want someone to listen to them. And one of the reasons why your wife's probably driving you crazy is because you're trying to fix her. You're trying to solve everything. You're you're thinking you need to back down or get loud to solve what's going on to try to calm her down. No. You just let her be. You protect the space so that she can express herself. That's what we do as men. We, we protect the space. And after she lets all of it out, she notices that you're still neutral. And that is impressive to her. She was very impressed. She either could be really upset or very super impressed. She could be upset that she couldn't shake you. <laughs> she couldn't rattle you. But it will turn into being impressed sooner or later. Don't fight with your wife. Don't even waste the time. Don't even waste the time. Most women are afraid. They're scared and hurt. And they have that in them. And the reason why is because they have feminine energy. And feminine energy is super sensitive to other people's feelings and other people's lives. And so they easily get hurt, they easily get upset, and they easily get scared and frustrated and worried. And that's just this them. But we're here to show them that we're a safe place. So if your wife's driving you crazy, it's okay. Hang in there. Just in exercise every day. Eat your vegetables every day. Exercise every day. A good amount of exercise. 30 minutes at least exercise every day to burn off your negative energy and negative language so that you can be neutral. We're here to be here for them because they're brilliant, they're intelligent, they can solve problems, they can solve relationship challenges, and we, we work with them. So if, you're having, if your wife's driving you crazy, maybe it's you that needs to change. And it's something to learn, something to learn. And when they see that you can be neutral, It'll help them realize they can learn to be neutral too. And they can solve life problems together. Solve life challenges together. That's what men and women are there to do is to be together, you know, to be married. And so that you can solve problems together. Not fight. Don't fight. Talk. Talk it out. You'll do good. Okay, so I I hope this makes sense to you and it's the right timing to share with you those things that I just talked about, uh, click subscribe. I, I, this is a great channel for you to be uh, connected to because this is a great place to get some training on some life challenges. And so subscribe. And then also, also you gotta check out our three day live training class. I, I teach seminars and one of the classes that I teach 
live events, you know, three day live events, super fun, super fun. My wife and I, we teach a class called Royalty and Romance. And it is hilarious and it is fun and very, very good. At the training, you can receive free relationships. So click the link here below and check it out. Check it out. If it's for you, love to see you at the class.